May God bless the DAV, who we represent, and may God bless all of y'all. Thank you very much. The start of our 96th year last August began with your selection of our national officers, highlighted by the election of National Commander Dave Riley, who made history by becoming the first Coast Guard veteran and first quadruple amputee to hold DAV's highest post. A former rescue swimmer, Commander Riley has worked tirelessly throughout the transition of a new presidential administration and VA leadership to ensure our organization's top legislative priorities remain at the forefront of the American conscience. A man of action, he guided DAV's delegation down Pennsylvania Avenue during the presidential inauguration parade and returned to Washington in February for our annual Midwinter Conference, where he led DAV and auxiliary members in meeting with lawmakers. Commander Riley has spent his tenure heavily involved in the push for smart VA healthcare reform, appeals modernization, improved benefits for women veterans, and the expansion of caregiver benefits, a topic near and dear to his heart as he has had to navigate the VA bureaucracy for more than two decades without critical support and benefits for his wife and caregiver, Yvonne. Mr. Chairman, we call on Congress to correct this inequity by extending assistance to all seriously disabled veterans of all years. To aid in this effort, DAV launched the Unsung Heroes Initiative, a national campaign to bring awareness to the selfless service of our nation's veterans caregivers. DAV's report, America's Unsung Heroes, Challenges and Inequities Facing America's Veteran Caregivers, stems from a qualitative online survey that gives a deeper look at the challenges veteran caregivers face. While DAV has pushed to correct this injustice to our nation's top leaders, this report provides a clearer picture of the lives that can help guide critical public policy changes in the coming years. DAV supported the Deborah Sampson Act, a comprehensive bill focused on addressing gaps in services for our nation's women veterans, another legislative priority for our organization. With companion bills currently in the House and Senate, this measure would improve and expand VA programs and services for women veterans if enacted. DAV's report, Women Veterans, The Long Journey Home, identified many of the transition issues this bill addresses, including the need to establish a peer-to-peer -peer counseling program for women veterans returning home from wartime deployments, funding for training women's health care providers, and enhancement of VA facilities to ensure privacy, safety, and environment of care standards for women, among other recommendations. Congress has now addressed more than a dozen of the report's 27 key recommendations since it was released three years ago. DAV's National Service Department continues to live up to the legacy of being the best in the business. Our mobile service offices visited 845 sites in 2016, and interviewed more than 15,000 claimants. Our transition service officers filed more than 24,000 claims last year and helped ensure nearly 36,000 transitioning service members were aware of their earned benefits. Between all 4,243 county, chapter, department, transition, and national service officers, DAV helped veterans and family members obtain more than $4 billion in new and retroactive benefits. The service department also continued making an impact with its disaster relief program by supplying more than 1,200 drafts and supply kits totaling more than $463,000. This year, natural disasters once again crisscrossed the nation, devastating communities from Nebraska to Louisiana and New Hampshire to Texas. But DAV leadership, including Commander Riley, and dedicated DAV members were there to step in and aid their fellow veterans on the ground. This year, our membership department continued modernizing by expanding its recruiting efforts to the digital space via military.com as well as social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. The department also made it easier to recruit prospective members through the new member app, which can be added to any iPhone or Android smartphone. With the touch of a few buttons, recruiters can enlist prospective members to our ranks and make them eligible for a wide range of money-saving and life-enhancing benefits. For 2016, DAV devoted $46.4 million to various voluntary service initiatives. This year, DAV's Transportation Network volunteers 
traveled nearly 23 million miles, providing more than 670,000 free rides and donated nearly 1.6 million hours. A value to taxpayers that is equivalent to more than $37.5 million. Additionally, the Voluntary Services Department kicked off its new Forward March campaign aimed at encouraging those who've received DAV's assistance to pay it forward by volunteering at least one hour of time to help veterans in their local communities. This initiative helped the local veterans assistance program grow significantly, going from just under 800,000 volunteer hours from fewer than 4,000 volunteers in 2015 to more than 1.2 million hours from more than 6,000 volunteers in 2016. DAV's National Employment Program is executing a busy schedule of nearly 130 all-veteran career fairs across the nation this year, more than doubling the event total from last year and more than tripling in scale since the department was established three years ago. By offering military personnel, veterans, and spouses the opportunity to directly engage with employers who know the value of hiring those who've served, DAV has become one of, if not the, most prolific charity in terms of connecting veterans with employers. Since this initiative began, our career fairs have drawn in nearly 70,000 job seekers with an average of 60 exhibitors per event and most impressively, roughly 130 job offers per event. Additionally, DAV is creating an opportunity for veterans to connect with employers through virtual career fairs. DAV will facilitate 12 virtual career fairs this year, with four of the events being devoted exclusively to disabled veterans. DAV is also continuing its 10K DAV Hiring Challenge to ensure at least 10,000 disabled veterans attain meaningful employment by the end of 2018. The DAV Charitable Service Trust supports dozens of unique organizations that provide injured and ill veterans things like rehabilitative and emotional therapy, transition assistance, employment support, and emergency relief. In 2016, the Trust issued more than $5.2 million in grants to support these kinds of programs and services. DAV again hosted the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic in Snowmass, Colorado. Among the participants, our 2017 DAV Freedom Award recipient, Army veteran Adam Greathouse, stood out as a shining example of how adaptive winter sports can make a difference in the lives and recoveries of participants. A, a veteran has to be ready to accept the recovery process, and I wasn't ready. And then I came here and it opened my eyes and made me ready. Adam plans on returning in the years to come with the same positive outlook unbeatable spirit and determination to succeed. In September, Commander Riley attended the National Disabled Veterans Tea Tournament in Iowa. Previously a local program, the new national event promotes rehabilitation, fellowship, and camaraderie among disabled veterans through therapeutic adaptive sporting events. DAV support this year led to a partnership with the VA. With a signed Memorandum of Understanding, moving forward, DAV is proud to partner with the VA to help coordinate and co-facilitate the T tournament. Later that month, Commander Riley headed out to California to go scuba diving with the Monterey Bay Veterans, an organization that dedicated a custom dive boat to give disabled veterans access to the sea that they hadn't had before. The DAV 5K expanded to three new cities in 2016. In addition to races in downtown Cincinnati and Atlanta, DAV hosted our Run to Honor Veterans in Boston, Newport News, Virginia, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, bringing more than 8,300 participants from 39 states to the nationwide series. This coming Veterans Day weekend, the 5K initiative will add San Antonio to the list. We're anticipating another phenomenal turnout for the series giving DAV significant outreach opportunities and a chance to raise awareness about our services to veterans. DAV has continued expanding its presence in the social sphere, topping 1.4 million fans on Facebook and expanding our name and message across social media platforms like Twitter, which grew by nearly 25,000 followers in 2016 to bring the total to 80,000, and Instagram, which has topped 21,000 followers in just two years. DAV's website, DAV.org, also saw tremendous traffic with 3.2 million visitors. Also leading up to Veterans Day, 
DAV partnered with ABC to feature a Victory for Veterans theme week for its quiz show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, as a way to honor those who serve. ABC presented DAV with a $25,000 donation during the show while helping raise more awareness of DAV's free services on Good Morning America and through the network's digital and social media channels. DAV also teamed up with country music superstar Brantley Gilbert and Polaris to spread some cheer to three veterans and their families this holiday season. The families were under the impression that they were helping create a promo video at an off-road park in Louisiana where Gilbert and Polaris surprised each of them with a Polaris razor of their own. Man, I can't thank Polaris and the DAV enough. It's overwhelming, the generosity between both organizations. Speaking of generous donations, Handcooked Tires presented DAV with a $150,000 check at the 2017 Cincinnati Reds Military Appreciation Day. A proud partner of DAV since 2014, Hankook Tires hosts DAV Mobile Service Office stops at six of its tire dealerships across the country to help DAV serve veterans who might otherwise go underserved. Commander Riley also got in on the action at Great American Ballpark by throwing out the first pitch. In the spirit of veterans helping veterans, Commander Riley also attended the Boulder Crest Retreat in Virginia this year. The retreat is a privately funded rural wellness center that pairs veteran mentors with veteran mentees during their recoveries from injuries sustained in service. DAV's Charitable Service Trust has supported retreats through grants since 2015. DAV also continued its partnership with Golden Corral through the restaurant's Military Appreciation Night, which provides free meals to veterans around Veterans Day. In 2016, the annual event raised over $1.4 million for DAV, bringing the total to more than $12.9 million since the event began in 2001. Additionally, approximately 3,800 children of wounded, ill, and injured veterans are expected to attend Camp Corral at 22 locations in 19 states with the help of donations from DAV. Supporting us on this effort, the fight for caregivers, and more is the DAV Auxiliary, which had a busy year under the guidance of Commander Francis Costa and National Adjutant Pat Kemper. Through their unmatched, dedicated service to local community veterans, our friends and allies in the Auxiliary continued raising funds for youth scholarships, service support programs, and the National Disabled Veterans Winter Sports Clinic, among others. DAV has continued to gain momentum throughout the last year, with a dedicated network of members, volunteers, and supporters working diligently to keep our organization invigorated with new ideas and fresh opportunities to engage. I'm proud of all we've accomplished over the past year, I am exceptionally proud of our tremendous DAV and auxiliary community, and I look forward to another year serving side by side with you, working together to keep our promises to America's veterans and their families.